All right, boys and girls, what do we have here? Underneath this Telegizmo T3R6 all-weather cover, and I did a review of this with a demonstration uh, with my power washer. I'll put a link in the description to that if you haven't seen it or if you care to. And let me show you what's underneath this. Now, in that video, I had my 130 uh, GTX on my Astrophysics 1600 mount. Now, a little background information. When I bought this, I had intended it intended it to be for the 130 and um, to work with either the 1600 or my Mach 2. And on the website of Telegizmo, they don't give what I feel are some important dimensions. And uh, refer to that video. You'll, you'll see in the video what I'm talking about because I give them. In fact, I've emailed the company um, and asked for the dimensions of a couple other ones on there that I'm interested in. But in any event, so I ordered this. And it, it's a bit large, to say the least, with the 130. And when I use it on my Mach 2, uh, it's just going to be way too big. So, I got to thinking, how will this work with this other telescope that I have? So the telescope that I have under here is my Astrophysics 175 F8, uh, serial number 28. And one thing you might notice up front here in this area where you'd have a counterweight in the counterweight shaft, I did not put it on. Okay, so that's the secret to getting this to work because with the counterweight shaft, I'm sure it wouldn't work. I didn't try it, but my intent was not to use it. And I'll show you why, uh, I'll show you how this works, and it's a simple matter of uh, putting the counterweight shaft and the counterweights on after the fact. Because what I do is I set this up like I normally would. Extend the um, uh, dew shield, get whatever eyepiece I'm going to use, whatever on the focuser, get it balanced. Then I take the eyepiece off, retract the dew shield, take the counterweights off. I lock the right ascension and deck axis to the home position that you see here and put the cover on. Now I've already uh, set it to the north so that's already been done. So now it's a simple matter of taking the cover off, putting the counterweights back on, and uh, putting them where they belong and you're good to go. Now this is all setting on my advanced telescope systems, my ATS 12 inch portable pier. Now this night eyes cable that you see here, these tie wraps are the same one that I used in my video. That's why I said refer back to that video, you'll see how I put it together and which one it is. This is the longest one that you see in that video. This worked down at the bottom. With this particular setup, I only needed the one tie wrap right down there at the bottom. So now this is the eyepiece on that you see right here and for this I didn't put it on because I was double checking to make sure it works but in the other video saw that I put a uh, towel around to protect from any possible damage anything sharp well down here you've got a couple things on the eyepiece end here I will put that towel on this uh, when I use this uh, for uh, protection so You've got a couple knobs here you see, stuff like that. Uh, so just the IP scent. Everything else, there's, there's nothing that I would consider harmful to this cover. Now, from the south side of this, you'll see that it's hard, well you can't tell, but right here is one side is the um, azimuth adjuster on your right ascension axis. And then directly across from that is obviously the other one over here. And so when I place this tie wrap, I make sure it's underneath of it. So when it goes underneath, it cinches this cover underneath that so that it cannot come up. Now on the front, we have on both sides. Here you'll see, I'm on the west side of the mount, you'll see this is the base of the 1600. 
and when I take this cover off, I'll show you, but this is the base of the 1600. Obviously, I went right around that. This is the east side, and you'll see that over here is the base. So this nicely fits underneath that, and then, as you can see, there's no way that that can pull up. So here, guys, you see what I was talking about at the focus around. So, as I did in the uh, video when I did the review of this product, I will wrap just from about here down this area of the focuser and then use the same type of uh, night eyes thing to hold that towel just to kind of help protect it from these areas here. Now as I pointed out, when I cinched the cover underneath on the south end of the mount, here are the azimuth adjusters when you're setting to the pole on the right ascension axis. So I made sure that those tie wraps went up underneath here. So that way, so it would also go underneath the base of the mount and then up underneath here, as you can see, that way the cover has no way of being blown up or off as this holds it. And here we see this is the north side of the mount and here's the uh, west east side underneath in which I uh, made sure that the cover went under this and the tie wrap around here. So again it was very secured it couldn't go anywhere. And as I had stated earlier, the counterweight shaft has been removed with the counterweights. The dew shield has been fully retracted in. The eyepiece focuser is retracted all the way in. And then I've locked the right ascension and deck axis here. And that 1600 is stout. It's not going anywhere. It's not budging. So all, it's, all it is now is a matter of putting the counterweight shaft back on, placing the counterweights in the predetermined positions that I already know about and we're good to go. Now somebody might say that that's a lot of work to go through you know having to take the counterweight shaft off and put it back on I don't feel it is when you look at that cover is a stock cover don't have to have anything custom made and I would assume most people that have the 175 is, is either going to have a 1600 or an 1100 so you know it's going to work with the 1100 a simple matter of putting your counterweight shaft and, and weights on and you're protecting a lot of expensive equipment the other thing is the electronics they go on very very quick so that's another thing that um, I put on uh, the CP4 the uh, keypad and the cables connect and you're good to go so that's all stuff that can be done pulling the cover putting the counterweights on and attaching all the electronics under 10 minutes so uh, again I feel that the protection that you get is worth that little extra effort